And in every episode, at least once, but more likely two and three times, there's somebody that's having some kind of breakdown or going through a rage. There's physical stuff that you wouldn't believe. And if you go, well, wait a minute, that, that can't be camera. That can't be on camera acting. Well, guess what? It is. And they had to bring it. And when I mean bring it, be totally emotional, available, like you're watching people just be crushed. And if you can't do that, you're not going to work. Not the good stuff. You might do X-Files. OK. They'll pay me. I Listen, I was a recurring regular on X-Files. They paid me a lot of money. That's great. But that's not what I came for. I want to make people laugh and cry in the same hour. Wouldn't that be one? That's power, right? And I got news for you. On camera, name me one on camera class you've ever been to that does different takes from different angles, close-ups, POVs, you know, coverage, all of that stuff, retakes. No, it doesn't work that way. So it's a lie. It's the easy way. You want to learn how to act? You can, you, <laughs> believe me, you, there was a girl, I used to, uh, the way I built my resume, some of you know this story, I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but it's important. I was a reader for a casting director, brought me in for everything. That's how I built my resume, because I was better than most of the actors they brought in, and every once in a while there's a role, they'd throw me a bone, and that'd be great, I loved it. And I loved doing it, because every once in a while, boy, an actor walked through that door, and there was nobody else. It was him and me, or her and me, and we were just like, dude, let's get at it, right? Well, there was this part, and this girl came in, and it was an emotional breakdown, etc. And this is Jay Bernstein, who's the craziest motherfucker I ever met in my life, drove a Rolls Royce, carried a cane, was a manager for Sammy Davis Jr., who at that time was a black man playing uh, in, a, in, in a white play, and he hired a guy to knock Sammy Davis Jr. out. He was playing a boxer, just to get publicity. He was the one that coined the term, no publicity is bad publicity. He was crazy. I mean, literally crazy. He fired his assistant once a week. He, the casting director was instructed to hire a girl once a week that he could take to his home and rabbit, it, rabbit, it, and the whole nine yards. But he was cast in the show, and he was the <coughs> god. And then there was the casting person, the person from Warner's, and the VP, and all of these people in this room. These are high-end level people. They're all doing their thing. And this girl came in, and she, she did this audition, and we were like, and there, when she was done, nobody said anything. It was like, but a long time. We were stunned. And she goes, oh, that was horrible, and runs out of the room. And about two seconds later, we wake up, and Jay goes, Bernie, go get her. And he's sprinting down the hall. She cleared the parking lot. This is a true story. <laughs> she was gone, because she thought she did horribly, because we were, we were too stunned to say anything. So we have to call the agent and tell her, you know, that you got the job. Two things. That woman was not aware of what she was doing. She was very intuitive and very instinctual, but she could have been so much better if she just had command of it. And second of all, they're just people in that room. We want you to tell us a story. We want you to make us feel something. We want to believe you. We love stories. Tell us a story. Down the campfire, right? And so she did and blew us away. And that happened at least once a session. So that's what your goal is. You know, they give you lemons, make lemonade. But go in and be there. And then it's interesting. You got one, oh, he looks the part. Oh, he, she looks the part. Oh, he looks the part. And then somebody comes in and says, oh, no, they are the part. That's what you want, right? You're not going to get everyone. In a lot of auditions, you're going to go in and you're going to kill the room, but they're, you're not going to get the part, but they're going to remember you, and they keep coming. You know what the win is? Tell me. What's the win in auditioning? Call back. Why? Because you did your job. And they keep bringing you back. Why? Because they can trust you, and they know what you can do. So you're going to get more chances than the person that, you know, honey, you look really good, but damn. Okay? Anyway, I'm sorry I digressed too long, but, but this stuff is important. Anyway, voice, body, emotional inner life. Harness your energy. Command and control. That's how you have a career. Yeah? Let's act. Oh, by the way, these lights.